Hey, it's Jill with Crick Flicks. And long time no see, or long time no, no you see me, whatever. Um, I'm doing a scrapbook layout first, and then later today I'm hoping for Sheila, if you by any chance look at this video, I'm going to be doing, the next video is going to be on the Coco Melancomic and a personalized, beautiful little, little child here, baby, um, and the characters. I don't know, I, I had to tell all that, anyway. Anyway, I am using, or I'm, I'm, I'm doing one of my packets again. There won't be pictures in it, because as I said to the latest videos I've been doing, I don't have time to go through all my pictures. Got a lot going on. Oh, and by the way, I did tell everybody on one of my videos that Amy and Doug were expecting um, again. This will be number seven between the two of them. It'll be Amy's fifth. Um, I knew she, wa she wanted another one really, really, really bad. Uh, but mainly because she has three boys. They have three little boys and just one older girl. And my husband just, I just went downstairs because he'd gone to the grocery store and I said, I'm going to be filming. And the rule of thumb is that if you come up to my office and the door is closed, I'm filming. Otherwise, my door is always open because that's the only way that he can get it and figure it out. So not only did I go down and tell him I was filming, the door was shut. And so he peeks his head in the door to show me he got some wire that I needed for gnomes, <laughs> which could have waited, but he wanted me to know right now. Um, it was my Valentine's Day present, I guess. But anyway, told I just go down and tell him, and he doesn't do it anyway. It, and by, I'm doing the kits, no pictures, because I don't have time to go through that. Um, if anybody's, <laughs> it's Valentine's Day today, and I've mentioned that I have been doing my nails myself, doing either the dips or the gels, and they were getting rough where I needed to do them, but I didn't have time, time to do them all, so I alternated between red and gold. So my new ones were the red and my old ones were the gold. I just don't have time to dink around with it. But I, if the, we do have the the stay-at-home is lifted and you can go to the nail salon. However, after a year of not going, I can't bring myself to start that habit. I went I went to Jason for 20 years and I'm doing it myself now, yeah, guys. This is a very informative and updated video that I'm doing, not just about scrapbooking, but my life. I was telling you that Amy is pregnant again. The last three that she gave birth to were boys, and she's got an, uh, a daughter with her first husband and a son with her first husband, and her new husband has a son and a daughter with his first marriage. The two of them met um, eight years after my son-in-law had snipped and my daughter showed up pregnant. Um, so we keep saying God had a plan. So she's on number three with her second husband. And they have a little boy between the two of them that's a year and a half. And another one that's four and a half. And then her other with, from her first husband is seven. And the little girl just turned nine. And the oldest girl, Charlie, has been dying for a baby sister. And when they were going through something, uh, a placement issue in the courts, uh, they, a family practice, I mean, not family practice, somebody that uh, like a liaison came in there to, to talk to the kids and asked them what they wanted. And both, both of her kids from her first marriage said, babies, more babies, more babies. So my, I don't know why I'm getting into this guys, but, um, I'm going to tell you anyway, for those of you that care, yes. And then for those of you that don't care, push the button. Um, but anyway, she, I think she was, would have been fine had she had a girl and, and Charlie just wants one so bad. So my daughter told her husband for Christmas, she wanted a baby and my, her husband or her husband said, well, if you think about it, you end up pregnant. So don't, don't think about it. you you know, we've got, we've got enough. And then he's like, oh, you know, what's one more? So once one more one more makes seven so she's pregnant and she found out friday it's a girl so we're having a reveal party tomorrow because nobody none of my other kids know and charlie doesn't know 
And Charlie knows that mommy was going to order cupcakes filled with frosting and have everybody over to, to find out what her new baby is going to be. And I got to film it because I know Charlie is going to just go nuts. She said, I don't care if it's a, I don't care. I'm going to love it anyway. I don't care if it's a boy or a girl, but I would really love to have a baby sister. She spent the weekend with me last week and all she talks about is a new baby. But I was praying it was a girl so bad for her, for everybody. Another girl is just perfect for the family. And then I started thinking, oh, if we want what we want and we love what we get, I need to stop focusing on that. But, well, I started screaming when she told me it was a girl. So I'm going to have number 15 grandchild and this one is a girl. So anyway, I'm through talking about that now. Um, now I'm going to go on about my kit. This is what I did for the background pages. Um, I have a bunch of files that I go on. And Shannon, I've still, I've got all of your files. And what I found out, if you see this, Shannon, the problem is, is the files that you've been sending me have been going into my spam. So I didn't even get them until the other day. I hadn't even had time to, to, to let you know. Um, I feel like you'll probably see this and you will realize why. Uh, anyway, they all are going to my spam. I'm going to try and fix that. In the meantime, I will download everything. And I did I did get some of them downloaded and some that had uh, Mickey in it. And I'm real anxious to do that. But uh, I've got some orders i got to finish up for some other things. And there went one of my photo mats down on the floor and behind. It's going to go out. Guys, I'm going to have to pause you a minute while I pick that up. I don't think I really needed to pick it up. It would have been fine. But it, the way I want to do the layout, I needed it. Okay, these are my background pages, um, the kind of the, the peachy coral color in this blue. None of these came with a specific file. Um, a lot of my files I have, I have them for, sorted by theme, colors, things like that, but it could be numerous vendors. I don't use one particular file and all the images from that file. I make my own how I want them. And I love the colors of these papers. And I absolutely love these. Now, these are 12 by 12s. And, and as I've explained in the past, there's about a eighth of an inch of white or quarter of an inch of white going all the way around because that's how it prints, even when I say print to the edge. Then I made the two inside pieces um, are 10 by 10s. And I just absolutely love the colors on these. And... I wish I remembered the file because I would go back and try, try and get some other pieces that coordinate with this. I absolutely love it. Um, the colors. And this one, they're both the same. They're the same with the exception of this has got a right and left print. This has only got left. Depends on where you put it, huh? Nope, it's still black. <laughs> anyway, that's the only difference that there is. So, I am going to lay them out. Um, which way do I want them? I want that to showing on that. So I'm going to lay them out this way. Yeah. Uh, the line, when I cut this in the 10 by 10, I went into my software, the Silhouette, Cameo Silhouette software. Uh, I get, I still get asked a lot what I'm using in my printer and Epson, um, Equitank 1650, which is a wide, 12 inch wide printer. And you can make it as long as you want. And it uses ink tanks versus cartridges. Much less expensive. More expensive for the printer, less expensive for the ink, ink and a paid for itself. If you're really big into printing, it'll pay for itself real quick. Anyway, I go in there and I make my line thicker. And I used my dropper in my software to match the color that I had going in this, in, in the one of the mats. So I am going to attach those on um, let me think here a minute guys yeah that's fine that's fine I started to rethink and I, it's gonna get too much too much thinking going into it these are supposed to be quick the reason they aren't quick is because i talk a lot um i update folks what's going on darian if you see this um i was talking to my daughter yesterday about our messages back and forth on messenger and um was very very gave her a lot of insight it she very much appreciated some of the things that you said because you were so spot on with what she's going through yep um another confrontation with my daughter's ex 
and in front of her children and putting her children in a spot that is really, really not good. Um, Darren, you mentioned something about therapy and whatever, and that's already in place. All of that is going on after going to court and fighting to get permission from him to take him to therapy. Um, but I think he's freaking out now because he's being super, super nice. So, something's going on. Anyway, I put them both off um, and, and I lined the dark corner around the piece down to the white edge around the bigger piece. Then I have these borders, and I might not be using all of them, and typically my kits are enough. This one wouldn't be because I only did two um, background sheets. Sometimes I have as many as four, and you can make more pages, but you can always save the leftovers for other scrapbooking, just like you would any kind of um, embellishment. You would just use what you needed. And This is 12 inches long, and so it did not cut out the white spot here but it's too tiny for me to go in there and try and cut this out this is a little border i did with a little um tape attached at the top that says love is all you need that is going to go on this page and i'm going to hope that my glitter is dry it feels like it is it doesn't look like it is on that piece so whoops uh, i gotta think what else did i have come up across lately because a lot of things have been coming across my email messages of things going on. Okay, I'm trying to show a little bit of that. I think I got it. Oh, I thought I was going to have to color those in, but because this is so mis, this print here is blurred, so there's a lot of white showing. So the white ends that didn't cut out on the end of this border it's fine because there's got a background color here. Okay, and I'm gonna put a border on this one, but I'm gonna use a completely different border. And then I just put a little bit of glitter on it. Um, I like board, board, borders. I thought, oh, I did. I was gonna say, I thought I'd print out some wor wording. It does, love is all you need. See, I totally forgot. A hey, space cadet. I, um, when I found out my daughter was pregnant, the first thing that I thought of is how happy my mother would have been to find out that she was having another little girl because she was always really, really close to my mother. My mother really, I hate to say it out loud, but it is what it is. Um, she was always been everybody's favorite, including my brother before he passed, the brother that passed away, I should say, not before he passed away, the brother that passed away, his his favorite was my Amy. And he also, my mother though, would have been very, very, very thrilled. She was so happy for her when she met her current husband. And the fact that, that they had went on to have more children. And my, my, daughter, my mother favored my daughter's children too. Not outwardly, privately. She loved them all, but she really was thought Amy's little ones were very, very special. Okay, now I made these photo mats. These are five by fives. Um, they were in another file of mine. And the only reason I'm telling you some of this stuff is just to kind of give you ideas for you to do things on your own. This had a totally different color that's kind of framed out here in this this um, tie-dye looking color here. But the color in the middle did not match or go with any of my colors here. So I had some other tie-dye looking prints, uh, digital printed paper. So I cut out the, the center of this frame and put this color on it, made a square of this color on it. And then when I cut it out, um, this is a, the, this photo mat here is not square. It's kind of weird shaped and I just liked it, but I didn't like the color. So that's what I did. I just filled it and changed it out and whoop to do huh? I think guys, I've been away from filming too long and I'm losing it. Probably lost a long time ago. Don't even realize it. But I tell ya, I, if I was any busier, I said I absolutely love the, the, the fact that we get to take care of our 
grandkids and we, we are in health, the health that we need to, to do it and just everything. But boy, does it wear me out. Let me see here how I want to do this because these are little, I think that might have come with this. I'm not even really sure. They look like the same corals. But this was actually a 12 by 12 sheet of paper and I um, changed the size to a 5 by 5 and then I did the outline again rather than double matte where I used to put my photo mat and then another color behind it so I had two thicknesses and my book pages would be so thick that I couldn't even fill the book with the made amount of pages it came with because my pages were too thick. So I start just doing them in one and I can't decide here what I want to do. I think I'm going to go and... Those of you that are used to watching me do scrapbook pages are used to the fact that I never know what I'm doing because I do them, just I just do them. I don't have anything ready or planned. I plan it before I cut it out and have it all, all laid out and then I cut it out and I'll forget how I have it and I'll have closed the page that I was working on. So I decided to just quit doing that and just wing it. So I'm winging it. Alrighty, this one I put the this little I don't know if I'm liking this and I don't think I'm gonna use it on the page. It's too fluorescent, the glitter on it. Um this little rainbow with the star on it. It's not dry yet. I used that on here, but I made it one piece on the mat and a little piece of coral. Again, I'm not gonna use that because it's just way that pink. It's glamour pink from stickles and it's way too fluorescent. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and use this photo mat out here. I don't like doing it like this without my pictures because then, then you have to make your pictures the size of your mat. And it's better to make your mat the size of your pictures. It makes it a whole lot easier. However, I don't have the time and I have been so out of, of filming that um, I'm really feeling... Uh, detached from a lot of my followers and friends that I've made over the years. I feel very, very, yeah, detached is a good word for it. So we're going to work on reconnecting, guys. And again, those of you that are newbies coming onto my channel and you find me to be annoying and, and mundane, just hit the next button. I get it. I wouldn't listen to me. I'm just saying. I'm just going to do something different here because I can. I'm going to put a little bit more photo mats on here. I was looking at how many pictures I have to do and uh, figured I got my, my daughter yesterday said to me, since you don't scrapbook anymore, and I'm like, I don't know how many times I've showed her the 12 boxes of pages I have stacked full that I keep asking them to take home. And I'm not putting them in the books. They can do that. They want them? Come and get them. Okay, I'll put the square one on this one. I made a couple different sizes, so this packet would include some pieces that could be thrown into a stash for a, another paper another day. Another layout another day is what I meant to say. Okay, how far over do I want to go? I don't want to cover up all my coral there. Okay, so I'm going to put it there. Then, what am I going to do? I got some seashells over here. I'm going to use... I am going to pop dot my seashells. And I'm going to put them down in the corners here. And I'm going to put one up here because I don't like the way this border is not as long as my page. There's about a half inch there. So I'm going to fix that. Maybe. Okay. And I'm just going to randomly stick some trying to use my tweezers because I have such a hard time with this particular size of pop dots and they get st stuck on my fingernails okay I'm gonna put four on that one how many do I have one two three four five six seven eight nine I think I'm gonna put this this one looks like a hamburger bun it's a shell but it looks like a hamburger bun I'm gonna put that one up in the corner I'll do that one right now I hear footsteps. I think my husband's coming up again. 
My daughter invites us all over, the entire family over for dinner tomorrow to do the reveal for the baby. And then calls my husband to ask him if he'll make the food. She, they all want to have adepas. Um, he's from Venezuela, and that is a staple there, pretty much. And my kids love them. So, not only did he make the adepas, he ran out to the store to pick up a couple things. So he picked up a whole smorgasbord of uh, things to fill the adepas. And he shows me, and he just grins, because he knows I'm thinking, why do you not let them do that? You know, um, if one of my... Like my daughter-in-law not long ago had said she really liked Canadian Dry or Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew was. So my husband, I said, don't tell him things like that because now the next time he goes to the grocery store, he's going to come home with Mountain Dew. Sure enough. And he bought, he loves this thing, Chicharron, that again is Venezuelan. Loves that. And um, has found that my, my grandson has found that he really likes it. So I go downstairs, and there, and my daughter, my and my granddaughter Mila loves it. So I just went downstairs now, and he bought a great big package of that, and it cracks me up because every time they say they like something, it they it gets added to our grocery list. So we have enough food here to feed an army because he buys for them all the time, and they're not here eating it. But well, Mila is, and she. Believe it or not, anybody familiar with Arepas, she loves them. And Chicharro. My older granddaughter loves Arepas, and she'll call my husband and say, can you make some? And he will, the drop of a hat. He says, yes, ma'am, I'll do it. And he does it. He's a good man. He just brought me flowers for Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, guys. Let's get the things on this one. And we're not going to use any of that. Should I put a little one on there? Hold on. Let me see. Maybe I'll stick a little one on there. I'm going to. I don't like having my pages where I can't have sufficient um, a sufficient amounts of photos on it. Okay. So, my husband just stuck his head in again that he needs me, needs me now. So, I'm going to call this quits. I'm going to put some shells here. And then I'll get some photos, and that'll be it. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye. If I can get my watch turned off. My camera. <laughs> I don't know if I can. I can't get to it.